subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to discuss about the remaining techniques that I used that is DFO in hydrant physical developer and silver nitrate etc there's some techniques that were left in the last video in my previous video i have already discussed about vmd fingerprint powders super glue fuming spr and iod so these are the techniques that were used for non-porous surfaces and today i'll be discussing the ones that are used for porous surfaces also if you want this ppt then you can visit my website I have provided the link in the description box also there are a number of notes on my website so you can go check it out so first dfo technique now dfo stands for diazochlorinone d f o all right and the chemical name is 18 diaza 9 fluorinone it is the most sensitive reagent that is available for detecting fingerprints on the porous surfaces. So DFO is for porous surfaces. DFO reacts with the amino acids important that are deposited on the fingerprints. As I have told in my previous video that fingerprints are composed of a number of things like salts and fatty acids and amino acids. So these different reagents that react with these particular components of the fingerprint so dfo reacts with amino acid to produce a faintly colored but intensely fluorescent compound which can be easily photographed you can see here in this picture this particular print has been developed by dfo technique since amino acids are soluble in water dfo or even in hydrogen cannot be used to treat porous surfaces that have been wet so since amino acids they are soluble so if the pro uh, prints are wet, the prints will get solubilized in the water and then no amino acid will be present on the fingerprint itself. So this technique is not good for prints that are wet. Now pale pinkish product is formed best for fingerprints on paper. That is if prints are present on the paper, we can use this technique. Now they also show fluorescence and the excitation wavelength that is used is 570 nanometer and the emission wavelength that is used is 570 nanometer. It is three times faster than the ninhydrin technique. So this was all about DFO. Then let's talk about ninhydrin technique. This was first time used by the scientist Orden and Hofston. Ninhydrin can be considered as the hydrate of indane 1, 2, 3 trione. Ninhydrin reagent is also known as triketohydridine hydrate. Okay. It is widely used chemical which react with amino acids important and produce a deep blue or purple color known as Ruhemann's purple. You can see here in this picture these are the prints developed by ninhydrin technique and this is the reagent. Now this technique is very very slow. So in order to increase the rate, what we do is we increase the temperature. We heat it at 26 degree to 38 degrees and samples as old as even 50 years can be developed using this technique. Now the solvents that are used for ninhydrin are CFC13 which is also known as our clone of fluorisol hexane, HFE7100, HFC4310. All these are the solvents that are used for ninhydrin. Now the procedure for making this ninhydrin reagent is given here. First two persons solution of ninhydrin must be prepared by dissolving 0.2 grams of ninhydrin in 10 ml of either ethanol or acetone. After that the solution is sprayed onto our prints and we get to see this particular type of developed fingerprints then super glue fuming super glue fuming has been discussed in my previous video also so i have provided the link you can check it out also you can see the top right corner i've linked it there also uh, super glue fuming may be used on smooth surfaces uh, as well as on non-sporous surfaces then comes physical developer technique it is the only available technique for detecting the fingerprints on wet porous surface this is very very important this reagent is an aqueous solution of silver nitrate containing 
Fe2+ ई टू प्लस और थ्री प्लस रिडॉक्स कपल एंड टू डिटर्जेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट सिट्रिक एसिड एंड डोडिसाइल अमीन एसिडेट सो फिजिकल डेवलपर रिएजेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैन द एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ मेटलिक सिल्वर पार्टिकल्स ऑन फैटी एसिड एंड लिपिड्स टेक्स प्लेस सो दिस रिएजेंट इट रिएक्ट्स विद द फैटी एसिड एंड लिपिड्स The developed prints are grayish black in color. You can see here in this picture these prints. There were certain prints that were present on a particular document, and they have been developed by using physical developer technique. And the prints are grayish black in color, and then photography is done. This is the reagent. Then last method is silver nitrate method. In this, silver nitrate reacts with chlorine that is present in the fingerprints. This is affected for porous paper, cardboard, plastic, wood. All right. And also in this case, the prints that are present on wet articles cannot be developed by this technique. So what happens in this technique is silver nitrate that is AgNO3. It reacts with the chlorine and this chlorine is present uh, in our fingerprints to form silver chloride AgCl2 now uh, this product it gives us a gray color whenever we visualize it under uv light so this was all about this video i hope you found this content to be useful if yes then do share it with your friends so that they can also be helped also do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you